Welcome back to Dunk Tank. We're finally talking about the big movie that's all been leading up to this one. The big yeah, movie. Aladdin. Nope. What? Oh. Detective Pikachu. The big oh. one. Oh, I was close. Okay, that was. We've all that, seen it. Could have been Sonic, I guess. We've all seen it. It's a big. It's a great movie. Yeah. It, uh, yeah well, it's it's great. Okay. I, guess, I don't. Yeah. yeah. It's probably one of the good. best movies. I'd say it was pretty good. <laughs> But it was definitely watchable and enjoyable, and there was a lot of like nostalgia and stuff to it, you know. Yeah, like, they were definitely they even those nostalgia heartstrings they, a little bit. They had hard, Pikachu like. all sad and singing the Pokemon song. Yeah, that was kind of on the that nose. That was funny. And then Jason yeah. left the Jason left the theater. Yeah, really? I missed that. I always missed the best part. Oh my god, you missed that part. That's Every funny. time yeah. I go see a movie with Leah, I have to go to the bathroom and I walk out at like the biggest part. Oh my god, just pee your pants like everybody else. <laughs> like Endgame, I walked out and then I came back. They're all sitting at fucking like a funeral. I don't know who oh died. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Hulk <Hulk's laughs> died. Oh man, you gotta stop getting the soda, man. I I've fallen for that trick too many times. You you just can't get the soda. Oh yeah, we should probably say that there's gonna be spoilers. I was just that. thinking the same thing. Yeah, we just ruined something for somebody. No, we didn't. That's all right. Anyway, listen, we are <laughs> they deserve that. Movies that are recently released, but you should have seen by now. So yeah. And maybe TV oh, man, shows. That's hard. You see any of these movies by now? Might as well f- be fucking dead. How long has Detective Pikachu been out? What, like a week? Like four days? Yeah. 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 It's, but yeah you, You're if you fucking have four, done. John Wick, <laughs> we're talking that. That's been out for two days. You better have seen it. Shit is already out on VHS. <laughs> Fuck you. So oh, that shit on Laserdisc already. Yeah, we're God. not talking John Wick, hopefully. I think I haven't seen that yet. No, yeah, we don't have not. Don't spoil that for me. All right. Yeah. No, <laughs> well, <laughs> no John Wick 3 spoilers. We haven't okay. seen it. Okay. All right. I won't spoil anything other than to say that John Wick is in the movie. So anyway, what the fuck? Sorry, I just felt like I should rip that bandaid off. You're now. telling me that they what brought the John fuck? Wick of Fortnite fame into a movie? I know. And you're just I've... gonna drop this on us? I, you know, maybe I did cross a line there. I'm sorry. That's, that's like up. that's like the first good video game movie. Right. They that's made true. a Fortnite movie. <laughs> a Fortnite movie. That and then Infinity War was pretty good too. Yeah. That was well, those are both movie. Fortnite movies. Yeah. yeah, those are both Fortnite movies, of course. Exactly. Yeah. Endgame too. So there's been three, really. Yeah. Oh, well, that's the sequel. That doesn't count. <laughs> but Did you guys uh, so, called the uh, Pikachu twist. Uh, yeah, we definitely. I kind of called it uh, uh, towards the end ish, not like super really? early. And Jason called the twist like ten minutes into the movie. <laughs> He turned to me and he went, well, okay, here's the twist. Spoiler, everyone. Okay, Jason goes, yeah, the dad is the Pikachu. Now, right. I'm going to be honest. Minutes in. I am kind of an idiot, so I didn't see that coming. <laughs> but the twist, <laughs> that, that one didn't surprise me, though, as much as the ditto twist. Right, oh, that yeah. one that was a good twist. ditto ladies, <laughs> that was a good twist. That, one, that was incredible to me. I'll admit, I kind of that expected him to be the dad, but there was no logical evidence that could have led me to believe it till at least they halfway. They kept hinting at it. Like, like <sighs> first, there's like, they're talking about, oh, we're going to evolve. We're going to evolve humanity. I'm like, oh, yeah. Right, Pikachu's yeah. I thought that was dead. literally a nonsense until the. <laughs> until and then the there's end. a scene where the Pikachu, the really obvious one that where I, where I realized it was when the Pikachu goes, Yeah, man, if your dad was here, he would give you a big hug. I'm not <laughs> your dad. <laughs> I'm Pikachu. <laughs> well, I'll say this, though, okay? Um, for one, I don't. I didn't have any reason to suspect that Mewtwo had the ability to turn a person and a Pokemon into the same that person. He can take the soul of a so, human and put it in Pikachu. Yeah, well, he didn't even do that. He, the whole person went into Pikachu, yeah. So yeah. that didn't make any sense. Well, he took the out. body. He, did, he put the soul into Pikachu, and then he, like, yoinks the body into his own self. Right. I guess to heal it or something. I don't know. <laughs> right, well, anyway, I think that the... Yeah, where do the bodies go? Weird. Uh, yeah, don't oh, wait, do that. Uh, wait. Yeah. 
So wait, the dad died, so he had to put the dad well, in the Pikachu, the, but then he- The dad was it. going to die for sure. So he put the, for some reason, which is not really explained super good, the solution to this was take the mind, <laughs> put the mind in the Pikachu, take the body, put it in the Mewtwo, and then come back with the kid later, and then we can f fix it. What? Wait, the he put kid? the body of the dad in Mewtwo in his cell? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he kind what? of absorbs it up into his, no. into his own corpse. It's yeah, beamed it's, up. Right. <laughs> Never to be seen again. Well, you see it again at the end of the movie. But well, he, yes. he put the body into Pikachu, right? That's what we're talking about? No, no, no. He didn't put the body into Pikachu. <laughs> he did. He put the mind into Pikachu, and then he zaps up the body into himself. <laughs> And then he put it into Pikachu. Yeah, he no, was like, not put it into no. Pikachu. The body no, 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 never the, the Pikachu the has the soul. The right. body is in the mute. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you can't my put a, you can't put a body in Pikachu. Yeah, that would be ridiculous. Even right. though they but did that now, you in know the movie. What I have a big question about though. How come the kid is the only one to understand the Pikachu? I was gonna say that's a kind of huge plot hole for me. Like, no, is no, it because no, no. obviously it's because it's his dad, but why yeah. though? It's because Mewtwo this, magic works yeah. in mysterious ways. If you've That's played the weird. games, you would understand <laughs> okay. that if you're if the soul of your dad is put into a uh, electric type Pokemon, <laughs> your whole dad and a Pokemon are merged together. You can understand him by extension because he's your dad for some reason. Yeah. Um, but I will say this: uh, I feel like there was a lot of obvious twists in there. Like I'm pretty sure, probably, I'm guessing you guys figured out that the guy who owned the company was the bad guy oh yeah i, I didn't know so i didn't know that i, I was know. i was looking at it the reason that i didn't suspect him was because was, i was looking at the movie like all right this is just some dumb kids movie right. they're not even gonna do the obvious thing of making this one guy the bad guy they're just gonna make the obvious bad guy the bad guy because that's, that's the level obvious. of thought that they're gonna put in that this. was too obvious even though the even though they're hinting at that pikachu twist the whole movie right I felt like I that one was that too movie. obvious for the old nah. guy to be the guy. As soon as he started his spiel, I knew that it would be a twist because he kept talking about his son and how crappy he was. I was like, yeah, right. This guy is hiding something. <laughs> it was too My big son of a son is a real piece of yeah, shit. The son it's was too me. much of a comical bad guy. You know, like just way too obvious. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm evil. Everybody's treating him like he's the bad guy. Oh, I'm mean. I'm a mean boss. You know? <laughs> It's yeah, like, all right, yeah. so he's actually somehow going to be the good guy. I went in as soon exactly. as I saw that. I was like, that's obvious. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't. I was not putting as that much. Now, he kept it. being just like, in the right. movie. He kept having sunglasses and going right because he was a ditto. Yep, the big he spoiler. Like fucking whisker from Resident Evil. Right. <laughs> but I'll say this: I think it was kind of bizarre and kind of a cop out. Right? Was something that they used to you know kind of throw a red herring your way to throw you off the trail was when they said that when the guy showed him the video and Mewtwo's like humans are evil right and then they're like oh no 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 but look when you see the whole picture humans are evil but some humans are good like what Mewtwo still just said humans are evil though straight up you know what I mean <laughs> he's like <laughs> He's not exactly the good guy here. I mean, why? What? Well, what makes he said that, he said that humanity. Nah, he changed yeah. his mind later. Can't he was like some that, some of them are good. what the humans are kind of dickheads humans generally speaking. Evil. Yeah, humans are evil. Well, why does he just say? that was the mess <laughs> movie? Maybe he maybe Mewtwo's idea. Maybe Mewtwo's idea. If he thinks that all humans are evil except for some of them, maybe he should merge them with Pokemon. Why is he backing out on it somehow now, you know? <laughs> like, hey, it's already halfway done. Fuck it. You know what I mean? Because that's like humans that are stealing Pokemon's bodies, really. Yeah. Well, I don't His know, body dude. was stolen by a creepy old man. Listen, that good. guy's plan, that was the stupidest fucking plan of all time. Yeah, it was pretty yeah, stupid. it was. He could have just uploaded his brain into a computer with all his technology. Yeah, that doesn't work, though, because then you just have your brain in a computer. Your brain in the real world still exists. That's the problem with that. I mean, he even here's the thing. He actually even said it in the movie. He's like, is this to make you better or something so you could walk or something? It was implied. And he's like, no, I'm doing this because humans and Pokemon must be together. It's like <laughs> it was like. <laughs> It was like that thing that John <laughs> talked about last week with the with the thing. Yeah. It's like, oh, you can be <laughs> the dinosaur pic picture, right? Yeah. 
That's yeah. what made me think of that. I'm like, Man. no, yeah. they have to be. There. I don't want to cure cancer. I want to turn everyone into Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah, that was exactly the plot. Like, you know what, what else, fuck? though? It was the same plot as that Key and Peele movie, Get Out, where the old oh white people God, were just yeah. taking young black people's bodies. Well, I, uh, well, that was I just would say similar. the exact same. That was just it's a Peele movie, similar. just to be clear. I don't that know. Was the, uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just Peele. Okay. Well, that sorry. was the uh, shooting script for this was actually kind of a, <laughs> a remake of that. <laughs> yeah, like... It was the same idea though, because the old people were like dying and their bodies were weak, so they wanted that's, a new body. It's not even the same idea though, because that's <laughs> like a that's like a body yeah. snatcher, you know, weird body swap kind of horror concept. This did is the like, old man not do that with Mewtwo? It wasn't to make himself better though. He even said that he's like, I just want to make humans able to evolve. Like what the? F it didn't. Oh, he didn't want to be better. a wheelchair. Yeah. He didn't want to be in a wheelchair. That was it. He wanted to be able to fly around and have a big Mewtwo tail. What I what I do know is that if I were given a choice of being Mewtwo, <laughs> right? Well, <laughs> I, I mean, I don't even want to be Mewtwo. I could even yeah. be chance. I just need this. Who's, gonna, like, who's gonna say that? <laughs> I just want to be a Doug Trio. Yeah, <laughs> please turn me into a magic carp. <laughs> <laughs> And really, see, my problem with the movie is it should have been Detective Psyduck. <laughs> mostly Psyduck focused. And he blows yeah. stuff. Psyduck was one of the better characters in that movie, which is not great. How come the dude didn't realize his dad was Ryan Reynolds? Like, did he not re recognize his dad's <laughs> voice? You know? Well, he hadn't seen him in, like, eons or whatever and probably hadn't talked to him in years either. So he doesn't know. That part I mean, was like, pretty cool. How many years, though? I mean, I maybe, know he was kind of a kid. Maybe but... on some level he knew it, but he just thought he was crazy because that could never happen. Yeah, that, I guess it could <laughs> be the, the case. Because he, he was being resistant and he thought he was crazy at first, you know? That is true, yeah. yeah. There's definitely a lot of ways that that could... That I find that to be pretty explainable. The right. thing that I didn't find explainable was the, the whole scene with the Torteras. It really that had was weird. no purpose at all. It's right. just the Torteras just cool. are gigantic and they get up and then they immediately go back down. <laughs> <laughs> no, the whole purpose of that was just to get, you know, there had to be an action scene where Pikachu got wounded. Right. That's the whole purpose. There had to be an action <laughs> scene. That's why it feels so shoehorned. He needed to right. wounded. Yeah. Then he said, bring me to a healer, Pokemon. Yeah, that's like yeah. not a thing, is it? I don't know. Chancy. Chancy could probably do yeah. it. Who was oh. the heal? It was Mewtwo. It was Mewtwo. Yeah, Mewtwo yeah. healed him. Yeah, Doesn't magically. Bulbasaur have a like a life seed move? Leech seed. Know. I mean, he could have probably used it on somebody nearby and just yeah. started draining the life force of the fucking yeah. intern character. He should have drained the life of like the people. yeah the intern character, and yeah. then she dies. Yeah, that would have been good. Dude, Sean, why are you hating on her so much? <laughs> she really wasn't she that She wasn't bad. any worse than any of the other characters. It's just that uh, she seemed... There were definitely some characters that were uh, on her level. There, there were not overall a lot of great actors in that movie. She seemed like she was like really just a little too happy and excited and giddy or whatever, but... She was plucky. It, yeah, exactly, plucky. But, I mean, the I think the reasoning <laughs> of for that is because this is really a kid's movie, though, right? Yeah. No, right, not... right. And... I mean, this is a kid's movie that they made right so ours. that adults would want to come watch it also. If you compare and I think that they the accomplished that, kind of. Like, the characters in the Pokemon games, that's how they are, you know? She was supposed to be, like, one of the other trainers or whatever. She even wore, right. like, a trainer outfit, like... I don't know. Some of the trainers in the first couple Pokemon games were really mean. They're like, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking beat you up, kid, and take all your Pokemon! <laughs> and then you beat them up, and they're like, ah, fuck! <laughs> I don't remember the part. That happened. That definitely does happen a couple of times. Some of the times it happens, it's a it's a toddler doing this to you. How it's did like I lose kindergarten level one bug. canopy? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never be able to beat this Pidgey. You don't stand a chance against my three Metapod team. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Why are they so eager to fight you with the shittiest Pokemon? Because they're like six. 
because they're plucky. Anyway, so I think it was so, yeah. pretty good. Six out of six. No, you know what? Six and a half out of ten. I'll give it a six and a half. I'll go that far. I'd say it's at least a six or seven. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. But definitely watchable. Not we a masterpiece. We should probably do it out of five. Out of five? Uh, yeah. Three. Out of five, so, six what is that? Out of three point seven five. No, you can't do decimals. That is why they have, what? That's they do cheating. three and a half stars. Three point well, seven. That equals five. six out of ten. Well, all right. I mean, if you're making me round to six or seven, I'm doing three and a half stars. Well, it would be six or eight. Three and a half. Or, no, that's wait. cheating. I'm sorry. Three stars. Three stars. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm rounding down. Yeah, I'd have to give it a no three. No decimals. That's cheating. Three out of that's five stars. Cheating. It's three cheating? Because that's what it's three, three cheating? Five? That's pretty good. <laughs> you really <laughs> like that. Three, a three out of five is a six out of ten. That's barely worse than what I gave it before. I agree. I'll give it a three out of five as well. I'll give it a five out of five. It's probably the best movie. <laughs> All right. I think it'll probably win the Oscar. Yeah, here's open. Yeah. All right. What is this? Bottle waters. What does that mean? Oh, yeah. This All is right. Woa's piece. He needs to speak. All right. Well, here's what I got to say about that. I was reading a Reddit that thread. And um, somebody was talking about, they were, it was a couple people, they were shitting on Dasani bottled water. Oh, <gasps> yeah, that stuff is nasty. Okay. Is what? It? I think what Dasani's the best bottled candy. water out there. Is that one of those Whoa. ones? Is that owned by Nestle? It's I think it is Coke. owned by Nestle. Yeah, Coke. That it's is the Coke. one that okay. is not, it's not spring oh. water. It's not anything. It's just like their plain water that they use to make soda from. Right. And I mean, if you if you drink, I don't know about maybe it's different in other places. I really find that hard to believe. But if I when I'm drinking Dasani, it tastes like literally nothing, which is kind of the bar that I want water to be. Yep. You know, I mean, hmm. that's what you get. It's tap water. Filtered. Right. I always think Dasani has a weird taste to it, like metal and weird, like. Right. Well, just yeah, it has a taste. Stuff. It, I don't know. I don't have any taste when I'm drinking it personally, but I'll you say gotta this. You drink like five that's different harsh. waters and compare That's them. a harsh water. I've so. had a couple waters that are like awful. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I think it's the Nestle water yeah. or maybe it's Poland Springs or something. I don't know. That One of those is not quite as good. It has a, a little weird flavor to it. And there was like one time I bought water at my local supermarket. It was like called like Niagara or something. And oh. it was the worst mm. water that I've ever tasted in my entire life. It tasted like sewage. <laughs> and I said, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, wow, I had to not even drink the rest of it. And I'm like, wow, somebody could be complaining about net, you know, Dasani compared to this. Like, what the hell? How what do you, you guys think about water? I don't know, dude. I guess you bottle it from where the fucking sewage comes out of the fucking toilet pipe. Yeah, that you know would be I mean? one way to do it. Say that on the back of the bottle. Yeah. Our water comes straight from a Right exactly. yes. Straight from a well where there's fucking chemicals leaking into the ground. <laughs> from <laughs> municipal waste resource management. Yeah, like seriously. <laughs> I don't know. Like, for example, even my, I, ha- I kind of normally buy a lot of bottled water in my area because my, we have well water at my house and it, it does not taste very good. <laughs> so it's like messed up. But I mean, in mm-hmm. Brita or whatever, those filters, they don't really fix the problem. But I mean, I. Yep. Personally, I think that Dasani is my preference if I were to get a bottled water. Interesting. Yeah, what do you guys think? Yeah. Dasani. I gotta be honest with you, I have absolutely no opinion on bottled water whatsoever. No, none? All right. None. I have a strong opinion. What is your favorite bottled water? Fiji. And Fiji. Oh man, but that's Fiji just a good one. And listen, that one is like the specialty one, but right. my favorite, like very standard I'd say is right. Evian. Evian? That's a special one too. Evian, yeah, really? Yeah, I think that, it might that's be. Like, that's more like more expensive than Fiji, even. Is it really? <laughs> I thought it was less. Okay, well, those are my two favorites. That's the high water. Yeah, I mean, Fiji's right? obviously good and all, but yeah, that's a little. That's the premium stuff. Well, come on. You talking about different waters? I mean, admittedly, that? no. Yeah, admittedly, even to the Sani, I think is more expensive than some of the other ones too. Obviously, you get the one from CVS; that's uh-huh. pretty good, but it's the cheapest or whatever, you know. Jason, what's your take? Yeah. My take is that I'll drink literally any of them. Right. Yep. Well, until <laughs> same, you, same here. Until you suffer. Until you suffer the consequences. I haven't had the sewage one. But some I of them either. do have a. <laughs> some of them do have a weird taste. Dude, Dasani is bad, and also, do you remember Aquafina? That one was gross. 
I no, used to like always the song. Though. That's crazy. Aquafina. I mean, was, I, I've heard other people say it, and it it kind of blows my mind. It tastes like old metal and like just That's weird the- <laughs> stuff. I think it's like such a subtle flavor that it just takes on like the taste of the plastic that it's in or some shit. Right. Yeah. Some bottle waters happens. definitely do do that. There's one that comes in a box. Box of yeah, water. Yeah, boxed water. Nice. That one doesn't that taste one. very good. Not yeah, that very good. Like really? Tastes like cardboard. Yeah. Probably tastes like the box. Yeah. Did you guys ever have a milk bag? Yeah, bagged no. milk. <laughs> I've heard I legends love of it. Bagged milk. <laughs> Always poking in my straw for the other side. <laughs> my mom gave me some bagged waters and I, I kept poking bagged straw through it and the water got everywhere. I don't know about bagged milk, <laughs> but I will say that, uh, and probably Leah has had it before, but um, I've, because I've been to Ireland, you know, and when I was oh. in Ireland before, you could go to like a, a convenience store and buy like a little cereal and it comes with like yogurt with oh, the cereal. Like you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know if it's. Too. It's like really just plain yogurt because it's like milk substitute. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like here, you put yogurt. It's kind of like milk. milk. Yeah. <laughs> what the well, they hell? Kind of, they sell stuff like that here in the yogurt section. I've they never kind of stuff. With, well, it's usually granola type cereal. So. Right. Yeah. But yeah. Not oh, this was just like. Off. This was like probably Rice Krispies or something equivalent. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, no, hey, I never had that. Real brand of cereal, <laughs> but then here's yogurt to eat it with. Hmm. Oh, that sounds Ooh, I would like that. No, no. Yeah, I don't think it was terrible. Oh, we need to okay. close down the country until that is figured out. Well, I guess I wouldn't like it then. <laughs> right. Jason's a yogurt hater. That's what? Yeah. Really? I don't like yogurt. I don't believe in it. Uh, you, you've never had good yogurt. That's what it is. I find yogurt to be like 50-50 for me. There's, uh, yeah, I mean, it depends on the type you're getting, but there's some... There, it's... I don't think I don't think you can hate all yogurts. I hate right. all yogurts. He does. No way. The no only way. good yogurt is the one that comes with candy at the top, and then I eat the candy and throw the yogurt out. Yogurt. No, that yogurt is actually so bad. That's the worst yogurt ever. It just yeah. tastes like corn syrup liquid. I do think if they're giving you candy with the yogurt, probably the yogurt's not going to be very good if they have to cover it up <laughs> yeah. with literal candy. True. Right. Okay. The candy is separate, so that's why I like it. Well, well, let's talk yogurt now. What's the best yogurt, Sean? You seem like you know. Uh, I don't know. I haven't had yogurt in ages, but I remember go-gurt. I used to love the stuff. <laughs> the best yogurt is Gogurt. No, <laughs> no I don't think it is. <laughs> I haven't had that in a while. I'm like, pretty sure that's not true, though. Yeah, oh, those are all the runny ones. I don't like runny yogurts. It's like mucus. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's gonna. This it's is gonna why have... I hate yogurt. <laughs> It's going to have some consistency. I basically only like lemon yogurt. Oh, I like lemon yeah. yogurt. That's that is basically good. it for me. That is delicious. Any other kind of yogurt, throw it out. It's crazy talk. I wish yogurt was those Luigi ices instead of yogurt. <laughs> Italian ice? That's like yeah. sugar. I wish that was it's what totally yogurt different. was. <laughs> and that was good for you. The only similarity is that they're served in cups. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be better though? If, like ice cream was healthy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. All right. Then I could have ice cream for food. Oh, wow. Man. All right. Let me let me share this though, because uh, like I said about the yogurt, I haven't had that in a while. But I have had this recently, which I love still to this day. Which I'm pretty sure this might be controversial. Cottage cheese. I love cottage cheese. Yes. Really? Cottage cheese is the best. Wow. Yeah, right it's that with pineapple. The, the pineapple in it is good, but I will just eat cottage cheese by itself. I don't care. Oh, yeah. I'll eat it by itself, too. Do you okay. get All small right. curds or large curds? That's, That's reassuring to me. Uh, Small curds. Yeah, me too. I don't think I've had the large curds before, actually. The large curds are good, but they're better when you get small curds, and then there's an occasional large curd in there, and you're like, oh, yeah. It's just better when it's like a surprise large curd. <laughs> <laughs> what are you supposed to even eat cottage cheese with? Like A spoon! You... No. Spoon, yeah. No, do you put it on like a cracker? No. No, you put it on a spoon and then put the spoon no. in your mouth. No. Yes. Okay, yeah. 
Mostly people eat it with fruit, like pineapple, peaches, yeah. mandarin, mandarin oranges. Yeah. Oh, that's a, that's actually really good, yeah. Put it on a pizza. All those are good. Uh, put the put cottage it. cheese on a pizza? Yeah, so what? <laughs> what are you- what? <laughs> Who's gonna stop me? Who's gonna tell, huh? I'm gonna <laughs> tell. I'm calling the police right now. Nobody tell. Captain I'm sending pizza. an FBI tip as we speak. Nobody <laughs> tell. You can put all kinds of cheese on a pizza. Listen, I know cottage cheese has the word cheese in the name, but yeah. I'm pretty sure that's strictly decorative. I don't that's think it's a yogurt yeah, right. type thing. What? Yeah. I don't think it's like cheese. I mean, yeah, but I don't think you're supposed to use it like cheese. It's kind of like how a tomato is really a fruit, but, you know, right. culinarily speaking, you don't really use you it as a You don't put it in a fruit salad. Yeah. You're not going to put a tomato in a fruit salad unless you're a goddamn animal. Well, that's because it's a vegetable. <laughs> well, that's that's insane. Well, uh, right. where are you on the cottage cheese issue? Listen, don't ask me about that. I don't eat cottage <laughs> cheese, all right? I really don't this have is, an opinion on it. This is a man who does not <laughs> want to speak about cottage cheese. No, I don't. I do not want to speak. Life. Don't ever talk to what? Momo about cottage cheese. Why? Never speak to me about that. I just, I don't have a horse in that race. Interesting. I don't want to have a horse in the race either. I think he's hiding something. It sounds like a dark past. What could I have to hide about <laughs> cottage cheese of all things? <laughs> I don't know, but I want to know. Yeah. We'll pry into this on another date, maybe. This kind of leads into our next topic. And yes. it's telling that they're uh, the Lay's contest flavors. There was never a cottage cheese flavor, never once, because right. people wouldn't buy it. <laughs> Babe, cottage cheese <laughs> doesn't have a strong flavor. I don't think you need Consumers cheese would not buy it. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a lot of types of chip that consumers would not buy. Did they buy any of these contest winners? Yeah. They love them. Is, is that why they canceled all of them? There's everything bagel. <laughs> The latest flavors were everything bagel, fried green tomato, and crispy taco. Fried green tomato. Yeah. That's a thing in the South. You well, I live know. in Florida. Did anyone yeah. eat it, though? Well, I ate the taco chip, okay? I can vouch okay. for that. What did and that taste like? taco chip is like lettuce with taco seasoning on it. It smelled like that too. Ew, it smelled like the rotten lettuce. That sounds lettuce. like weird. No, it doesn't smell like rotten lettuce. It smells like. No. It smells yeah. like good lettuce. <laughs> oh, good this is the good lettuce. <laughs> yeah. Why is the whole taco flavor just lettuce though? What the I hell? I don't know. They, well, they wanted to differentiate it from like a taco Dorito, I guess. So they made it yeah. smell like lettuce. Yeah, in my mind, a crispy taco chip is literally just a, a nacho. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's not that. It's literally just a... <laughs> Right. And what is it, a nacho with rotten lettuce flavor you're describing to me? <laughs> rotten lettuce. Listen, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do they sell it anymore? Yeah, I bought it. Yeah, I All wish right. Lay's would just fucking come out straight up with the cheese and onion flavor. That's the I good stuff. Have that. Dang, that's a good it's idea. Where do you get cheese and onion from? I've never seen that in a store ever. Sour here. cream and onion? Sour cream no. is not cheese. Cheese yeah, and it's onion. Like cheese and onion. That's a real that's thing. What, uh, that's what Ruffles says, isn't it? No, no, no. I don't think so. Yeah. Well, anyway, back to the weird flavors. There was one for chicken tikka masala. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Dang. Okay, what is that? I tried that. Wait, you don't. What? What? John! No. What? John! What? 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 You ain't never had chicken tikka masala? That's I Indian think you're. Food. It sounds like you're making it up. That's, that's the best the food. Heck, Sean, that sounds like you're saying the tomatoes, word. You don't know chicken tikka masala. No, you're just saying the word chicken and just adding made up syllables that don't exist on the end of it. That that's you just racist. came up with just now. When you go to Indian food, you gotta order that. That's the go-to order. Oh, mm. see, that's the thing. I, I don't think I've ever been to Indian food. What the hell? What the heck is going on What in the there? hell? Yeah. Well, you didn't even eat the chip. Sean and, uh, people are just these guys. They don't know food. Yeah. People these that's days true. need to die. I've never even what? seen oh, food before. All right. <laughs> I, guess it's, I guess it's time for me to die because I've never had chicken tiki. Or try Wait. Indian food. Chicken tiki. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, order that. 
Did I have a plate of chicken? Chicken tiki. <laughs> wow. Well, it's just like a curry with rice and chicken and certain spices. Okay. Good. Here's a here's a follow up question. Very good. This may this may be embarrassing. Uh, what is curry? Oh my Sean, god. Sean, what the frick? Oh my god. Dude, Whoa, what's the there's language? Thai, there's Thai curry, there's Japanese curry, there's Indian curry. Yeah, there's yeah curry I've heard of everywhere. all of these things. Son of a I've bitch. Never, I have no idea what it is. It's some kind of a, like a liquid oh, thing. I don't no. know what it is. God. You just take I'm rice. associating it with the color orange in my mind. I don't know no, why. No, no. There's Sometimes orange, it's there's orange. yellow, there's green, yeah, yellow. green, red. But I'm not getting any straight answers. I'm just getting colors. Gosh, Sean. <laughs> you don't know what curry is. Oh, oh man. God. Oh my god. Okay, we need to take Sean on a food tour or something. Yeah. Food tour. Gotta take him to all the Start with places. Pizza Hut. No. <laughs> <laughs> Start with yes. Excuse me, Pizza Hut. Could I have your finest curry, please? Sean, now that you're in town, try my local cuisine. Pizza <laughs> Hut. <laughs> oh, yeah. We don't have this where I'm from. This is Ew. a joke. This podcast is a whole joke now. I know. I'm so shocked that you not had curry. No, I've never, I've never, I've Did never had have curry, food? Wawa. What? Did oh, Wawa ever have curry? Listen, don't ask me that question. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> oh my god! Are you two just aliens? Listen. Yes. <laughs> that's all I had to say. Listen. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Okay, he's not had it. Well, we already know Wawa, Wawa is a pretty picky eater. That's all, all right. we'll say on that topic. So I'm not shocked about that. But well, Sean, it's just wow. chicken and rice. I'm being held to a much higher standard than Wawa. I feel like there's some and as you should be, here. as you should be. Well, maybe I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. He just we just blew the lid off of something big. These guys don't, don't even know what is that it big? Is. This is a big exposed. Put exposed, exposed. in the title. Sean and Wawa Sean and Wawa exposed. exposed. No. God. This Again. is not exposed, okay? Exposed. Every other week with this. <laughs> Next week, we're going to be going through my Steam history again. I'm telling you. It's just a matter of time. Listen, the internet has shown what it likes and it likes exposure like, yeah. and drama <laughs> this is dramatic this, this is, is what we must yeah. suffer with now i have been exposed before everybody <laughs> yeah <laughs> so what's going on on what was chicken corner Oh, now yeah. you guys are exposed. The Chicken Corner by popular demand. People have been waiting, so I hope this is good. This is gonna be a good one. We've been good waiting morning. for a while. It's gonna, it's gonna be, be a great. big one this time. It's gonna be okay. so okay. great. Let's and... have the theme. Let's have the theme. Bitch. You've been working on that. <laughs> chickens are getting deep. All right, but nothing happened on the chicken front. <laughs> All right. Let's no. have the outro theme. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Roll credits. I will say, all right, these chickens, okay, they have become fearless. All right? Okay. They're fearless. <laughs> it's not a thing you want to see in a chicken. You know what I mean? No. They're, they're called chickens for a reason. You know, people, <laughs> when somebody calls somebody a chicken, that's not a good thing. <laughs> they're not commending them for their bravery. No, but these chickens, they're defying the odds. I'll tell you right now, I was uh, letting them out to go eat some eat some grass outside of the uh, the front of the lawn because, you know, mm -hmm. they ate all the grass in the whole yard. Oh my, so God. I said, my God. I know, they're what? crazy. So I said, all right, we'll let you it's out of the fence. Let you eat some of the... Yeah, it's worse, actually, I think. <laughs> <laughs> they never stop. Yeah, you don't I'm care if the locusts die. <laughs> so yeah, we I let them outside of the front yard to go eat some of the grass. And here they are, eating the grass. I'm like, all right, you guys have had enough. Time to go back in. I get them in. One of them, Dottie, doesn't want to go back in, of course. So she's running oh. away. Classic. And Dottie, back, Dottie. Dottie's also the one who doesn't like to get picked up at all. Now all the other <laughs> none of the chickens easy. like to get picked up ever, but Dottie. One time I picked her up, she started like clawing me and everything. It was crazy. Oh my oh. god. It was like going ham. It was like, let me go, you motherfucker. And I'm like, all right, fine, whatever. 
I just dropped her in a in a pool of water and it walked through the pool of water. <laughs> it, was, it was like afraid to cross this pool of water and I'm like, all right, I'll just pick you up and carry you on. And it started like clawing me and I dropped it, ran across itself, Jeez. and I'm like, all right, I guess you weren't that scared of the water after all. <laughs> Whatever. But uh, so yeah, so here I am. I go try and get Dottie back in. I open the fence to let the let her in, <laughs> and and then Pearl starts trying to get out and i'm like all right i put my legs in front of the door uh-huh. so she can't sneak out you know and she doesn't give a fuck about that she straight up barrels into my legs <laughs> wiggles between my legs i'm like what the hell this chicken who's normally cowers in fear this guy just climbs right on through my legs doesn't give a <laughs> damn i'm like pearl what the f have you have you lost your chicken instinct I think Pearl is starting to understand that you are easily overpowered. Yep. It's gonna be a you revolution, know, I tell you. This reminds me of the um, the theory I wanted you to test, and you right. said you should not do it because it might right. traumatize them out of fear. Right. Well. Yeah. Somebody like left they... a comment on the podcast saying that well, we should draw a straight line in front of his chickens, and that it would hypnotize them. Right. And I've seen that happen before, and I don't know, I just feel like, I, I read, like, the chickens, they they go into, like, a state of paralysis because of <laughs> Seeing the Seeing a lot? Yeah. yeah, Well, I, don't I think know. It, what it is, uh, I, I read a little bit about this, it's got something to do with, like, that part of their face, like, if you're drawing a line directly in front of their nose like that, they can't actually see what the fuck is happening there, because their <laughs> vision doesn't get that so part. Nice so, Oh. Right, right. So they see like a little bit of movement, and they don't know what. So maybe like a velociraptor's creeping up on them, and they don't know. Right. In their direct, directly in front of them. Yeah. Oh my god. Why but am yeah. I in though? That's such a weird thing. It's it is weird, but I mean, I feel like, uh, you know, so because of that, like. Also, I heard that if if they stay like that for a while, or if you put them upside down, which also makes them stay still. If you, they stay like that for a while, they might not get back up again ever. Oh, no. So, <laughs> I don't know if that's correct or not, but I feel like I don't want to accidentally kill these chickens because I yeah. kind of like them. Yeah. Well, it sounds well, like they're too powerful now. Well, right. <laughs> sounds like they're going to start drawing lines. Yeah, oh, next God. time Dottie's acting up, just draw a line in front of her and that'll stop her. Don't even say that. She's scratching you. They're gonna draw big ass lines all over the place now. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna wake up and not be able to move, and you'll see a line on the ceiling. That's a good horror movie concept. <laughs> Revenge of the Chickens? Get that sound effect. You see a line He's- pop up. What is that? That horror movie trailer sound effect where it's kind of like... It's like a violin. (laughs) Okay. 200 chickens used to live in this barn. (laughs) (laughs) Now nobody lives here. What's that dumbass movie Pet Cemetery? Oh, God. They don't come back the same. Those chickens don't come back the same. <laughs> Speaking of bringing people back to life. Oh, yeah. And it's fucking stupid. Game of Thrones is over. Yeah. That happened a couple times in that movie, didn't it? Movie? What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> Show. The Game of Thrones movie is finally over. Eight year long movie is finally over? Right. Well, he did say there might be a movie. They were they were considering ending the series with a movie. Mm. Oh yeah, I mean I'm sure that would have been much better than what they did. The classic quote from Probably George not, R. 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 Martin: "Those dragons get pretty big, you know." <laughs> classic quote. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that the last season, maybe even the last two seasons. Wait, should we have a spoiler warning here? I mean, I figure yeah. everybody on the planet must have seen it by the time spoiler, this is up. Spoiler, big spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. I have never, I've never watched the Game of Thrones yet, but you guys can go oh. ahead and spoil anything. Leah you want. Hate, first, I Leah won't. hates Game of Thrones. Why? She is there too much penis not, in it? It's not really hate. It's too just many not peepees. Yeah. Too many it's boobies. Just... <laughs> 
No, it's more about it's just not my taste. I just don't. I think I wouldn't like it, so I just. Never she doesn't like Hodor. <laughs> That's a shame because he ended up being one of the best characters in the show. So what I have to say about this show, okay, is definitely that it was the last two seasons were not amazing. I'll admit they were they weren't terrible either, though. You know, they were very mediocre. See, I would argue with you on that. <laughs> Up, it was very I up fucking, and down, but it was mostly down. Two seasons so much. It's just like they, you know, like like the for example the ending or whatever. You know what I mean? It was kind of very tame. It was so. It's not exciting. It was like, right. It wasn't it's exciting. Just boring. It wasn't yeah. exactly. I, I agree. It wasn't amazing. It wasn't like, I guess, abominably crazy or bad which is probably right. it might even be have been better if it was crazy or bad you know what i mean because yeah, at least that would sta- something would stand out to you <laughs> yeah but it was very <laughs> it was very just like oh it's, here we go this is what we expected and we're just gonna end it amicably you know what i mean it's, well, it, it was, was weird because they were like they made like a lot of compromises just to get the story like to where it needed to be like right. a lot of logical compromises, like just kind of sudden shifts yeah. in the characters, just like yep. a, lot right. of, a lot of little cheats. And yeah. then right. it's still the, really boring. See, the, the whole thing with Daenerys was like, apparently, I'm told in the books, it's kind of built up that she's sort of like yeah, going sure. to go completely insane. And they cut out a lot of that build up from the build up in the show. They hinted then, at it a lot in the show. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of moments in the show where they kind of hint at that. They hint at the fact that... But then the twist just comes out of nowhere. It right, really, yeah. It's, they didn't build to it at all in that season. No, she's yeah. just setting everybody on fire because she got ignored at a party. Like, it doesn't right. make any sense. <laughs> the, the problem is, is that while it makes sense that she could and maybe even would go crazy, the fact that it, there was, like, no good, like, trigger to set her off to yeah. go crazy you know what i mean like no oh we're winning time to kill everybody <laughs> no 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 the, the, man that <laughs> bell that bell no, noise was really annoying like if maybe if they were losing and like like you know what i mean like oh no somebody's dying oh they're killing john or somebody who i like oh you know what fuck all these fucking motherfuckers <laughs> in this city you know what i mean if something yeah. like that happened yeah that would have made that would have made sense the my big complaint that I had in the final episode that was like very much a head scratcher. Why did the dragon melt the throne exactly? Like I get she why doesn't it like was, that. I get why <laughs> it was written that way. Like they want to have a really cool scene for the audience to look at. Right. And dragon, like some kind of dragon sense enough is enough. Metaphor. I don't like this Game of Thrones. <laughs> right. right. Like I don't like this show. He doesn't understand that John killed. Daenerys? He does. He gets or maybe it. He does. The dragon is should... super smart, and he goes, "Ah, yes." He should have talked. Actually, he should have said, "Ah, <laughs> thank you, John." Thank now you. I will destroy the chain. Wait, ending you the freed me dragons? from this game of Daenerys. Now I shall free you from this game of Thrones. You have Are won the, the game of Thrones. Dragons in that show like characters. What is going yeah. on? Yeah. Talking about the yeah. dragon like he's a sentient no, no, guy. No, he's not. Well, he's he kind. Of, well, he is. it's not clear yes, how the last episode. Yeah, in the what? last episode, he is kind of, sort of, maybe. The whole movie, they're just kind of rampant, wild movies. Right. The movie. only there to the it is one. again. What have I done? What? Yeah, that's a good movie. <laughs> it's okay. They're like the dragons from Spyro. It sounds like. They, just <laughs> yeah. well, they don't go. talk. When oh, you get in, they go. Oh, thank you, Dynamis, my boy. <laughs> Take me <laughs> over to the chair to melt it. <laughs> <laughs> You can use dragon wings to glide. <laughs> <laughs> that was, you know, I'll say this though: they had pretty good visuals in the last two seasons too. You know, yeah. it, they definitely they were on always par with that. had that though. Right. I'm not saying that it got better, but it was at least still one of the, the draws to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like half of the half of the episodes, although the visuals were good, half of the episodes felt like they drew on way yeah. too long. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, like had, I felt people are saying it should oh have been God. longer, but it's like the whole, it's like an hour and a half episodes. It's it like should have been longer. parts should have been longer. The action should have been shorter. There was too much just setting people on fire and chopping zombies in half. And then, oh, right. these guys are alive again. And then chopping those zombies in half. And God, 
But nothing is happening in the episode. Right, so exactly. Talk. They just talk about stuff and go, oh, okay, well, we're setting this thing up. I think this was the big, the big issue with Game of Thrones, is that you kill off so many of the main guys, and then you're just left with, like, the scraps. It's like, who gives a shit? Who cares about <laughs> fucking... Yeah. Little Dick. You know, when, when Sean right. Bean died, I was Little out. Little Dick? Isn't that a guy? Little Dick? Needle Dick? Little Finger? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It just felt like all the episodes were, were too long for what we had in them. The content wasn't yeah. there. It felt like the whole important part of the episode was about 10 seconds long. Yeah. They're in the throne room. He stabs her. <laughs> should have just... For 10 seconds. <laughs> they play the intro. He just stabs her and then they play the credits. <laughs> I mean, uh, all I gotta say about the whole series is that I don't think that everybody who's complaining online that's saying this has ruined Game of Thrones, no, you're wrong. That doesn't you're wrong. No, I mean, I think it's you I can think stop it's watching. Been, there's, I'm sure there's like a couple endings where you can just stop watching and say, okay, that was a good ending. That was a good right. show. It's still, still a good, still a great show. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, especially with Sean Bean. That's my favorite season. Yeah, still. man, that yeah. guy was that. He really carries it for most of the show, I would say. Now that right. the eight seasons are done. Yeah. He is. He was the best character. Yeah. Hell of an actor. Hell of a character. <laughs> that show sucked. Uh... Yep. <laughs> let's never talk about it again. All right. Well, let's move on to a video game. The only video game of the day. Mario, Mario Maker, Maker 2. 2. Can't wait. A big announcement. There was a really long trailer for it. Yeah, it was like 15 minutes. They were talking about... I mean, a lot of it was they were just showing you how Mario Maker already works, I guess, if you hadn't played the first one because you were one of the 99% of people that didn't realize the Wii U existed. But Mar there's a lot of new stuff that's getting added. Big thing for me that's getting added is online multiplayer. Yeah. yeah that's so cool. That was crazy. I can't believe they did that. But is it going to actually function? Nintendo well, well, that's where you, you can only hope. It, will, it might work. Mario Kart works online. Yeah, Smash, true. Smash, uh, Smash you know, kind of works. It, like 60 to 70% of the time. Yeah. <laughs> if you have the latency of Smash in the Mario, I don't know if I want to play that. That probably wouldn't. Yeah. That, <laughs> like that would ruin it for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, but... my favorite part of the Mario Maker 2 announcement was when they showed the levels with the angry son, and then she called him the mad lad. <laughs> there, wait, is that that one? That's the yeah. same lady from the PlayStation <laughs> one. That, that the happen. mad lad is crunchy. <laughs> that was good. Oh my god. <laughs> Gotta get in on the memes, you know, it's what the kids like these days. I know. That was, yeah. There was a lot of stuff. There was like a hook hand that grabs you. Yep. That was awesome. There, oh yeah, the crane game hook. You could put in the lava worms. They had the whole 3D world mode where it's not, I mean, it's still 2D, yeah. but they added a lot of, there's a car. I wonder what they're going to do with this. Yeah, the 3D car world. seems awesome. Driving on Mario courses. Yeah. 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 No, I never That's played awesome. Mario Maker 1 because I've never oh had Oh my god. That was on what the Wii U or something. That was on the Wii U, <laughs> yeah. So it's understandable yeah. you would never. It was really never fun. Had that. It was You're very in for fun. a treat. You're in for so, a yeah. treat with this one, I think. I'll, I'll be oh, down yeah. to give it a try and see how it goes. And they got story mode. That was a big surprise. Oh yeah. Story true. mode. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna make their own. They're gonna like put in real Nintendo levels in the game. I feel like that was uh -huh. a big thing missing from the other one. The yeah, that mode. is that is a big thing. Well, their levels better be good, because my levels are going to be really good. If my levels are better than Nintendo <laughs> level, they're out of the game. Well, I don't know how your levels are going to be. I can guarantee you any Jesus levels I make are going to be way so worse. Messed up. My levels Jesus are level There's going to be a new Nintendo in town. <laughs> <laughs> On the first Mario Maker, Jason made a level for me to play, and it was just like a flat platform of blocks. And then you had to like guess where there was a platform hiding below to like fall onto. What? So you just had to keep dropping down and guessing where to land. Oh god. Dying over and over again? Yeah. It's challenging. <laughs> That's a good challenge. That's oh my god. Level design. 
I'll probably be uh, <laughs> in charge of the next Mario after that level. <laughs> it's gonna be fun to play the race mode and fucking kill yeah. people. Yeah, competitive. Like mm-hmm. playing the levels that are like total bullshit, where like there's a block over the pit and stuff. You know, mm-hmm. that's a level of interesting. But playing that level while also fighting three other assholes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's gonna that's be awesome. great. That's gonna be crazy. What you think it's gonna be like? Uh... That bit runner game or whatever that is. Speedrunners? Yeah, speedrunners, yeah. Yeah. Kinda. Yeah, it's probably. Kinda like that vibe, yeah. You're gonna be punching other dudes in the face to get ahead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, another cool thing was you can like leave comments on stuff now, right? Yeah, they do have that. I like that. Me and Jason like always that. see funny comments on I don't know what it was, some Yoshi game? <laughs> Yoshi's really Super well. Mario Bro to you. And they're Mr. like, Mario, all the little yeah. kids thought Bowser made the game. They kept saying, Bowser, <laughs> why do you make this level so hard, Bowser? I oh hate God. Yeah. I hate Bowser. Yeah. They like, think he makes the game. Bowser makes this too hard. There was just one little kid who wrote, I farted during this level. <laughs> you think that was a little kid? <laughs> That's the more surprising part of this. It's totally a grown ass man. <laughs> I would believe either. He, I would either believe that's a little kid or a grown ass man. He's like, I farted <laughs> and shit my pants on this level. No, no, yeah, it just little kid. It looked like little kid handwriting. I mean, you never know, but it's funny. I like the yeah, you have not seen my handwriting. Yeah, but I like the comments. Yeah, it's a good feature. That's like the big. That's the big Nintendo game this year. It seems like. So far, yeah. There, not, there isn't any games announced for this year. What about that um, new Zelda remake? Yeah, that's <laughs> well, that's you know, that's one of those games that's out there, but we don't. Who knows when that's coming? There's a lot yeah, of games out yeah. there, right? Right. Isn't Animal Crossing still slated for this year? Yeah. That's, what's going that's on? In that? the, that's in the mystery zone. It is mystery because I saw somebody saying that on the website they removed a thing that said it was coming out this summer or whatever. Yeah. They, like, oh no. Sneakily removed the. Yeah. Oh no. Every I think this year no games this year. Everything is gonna get pushed back. Every single Great. game ever. What if they do this? What if they do a surprise? You know how they Beyonce put a surprise album out? What mm-hmm. if they do a surprise game? <gasps> like what? how they did uh <laughs> they actually did it. They did Unravel too. It was like a surprise game release at E3. Cool. But what if they did that with a big game? Mario Odyssey. Mario <laughs> Odyssey 2 big big game out of nowhere. I don't know. I don't know about that. <gasps> Super Mario Sunshine 2. Yeah, that's more likely. Oh. All right. Well, I guess that's about it for this week, then. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, there was one really important thing that I had to say. 